Meanwhile, finding affordable housing isn't always easy. Now, leaders in the tri-states met today to talk about the issue and try to shed more light on programs to help renters and potential home buyers. WGEM's Kylie Janes has more for us tonight in the newsroom. Kylie. NECAC officials have been aware of this issue, and they're working constantly to provide people solutions and new ideas for housing in the area. The housing summit was held today to inform buyers and renters to help them find the best options for them. Cheryl Friedrich was granted the USDA 502 Home Direct Loan. She's grateful for the help she's gotten to buy a home. They actually took us step by step and taught us how to figure out our finances and how to get our finances into a um, place to where we could actually qualify for a house. Fyrdich says without NECAC's home ownership counseling, she wouldn't be living in a home. Kylie Janes, WGEM News. All right, thank you, Kylie. And NECAC offers USDA loans and grants, down payment assistance, home ownership counseling, and more to help renters and buyers in the area. You're advised to contact your local NECAC office to see if you qualify. Well, meanwhile, Iowa, Iowa farmers are having to shell out more money to cover a significant